Dark and rocky, the moon produces no light of its own. Instead, it reflects the sun's rays as it orbits the Earth each month. When its dark side is facing us and we can't see it, we call this a new moon. Solar eclipses occur when a new moon moves into a position of direct alignment with the sun and the Earth. The lineup is not precise enough for this to happen every month, but when it does, the results are spectacular. To see a total solar eclipse, you have to be in the narrow path of totality. This is the area where the moon's complete shadow, known as the umbra, falls on the Earth. As the moon moves in front of the sun, day becomes night for a few eerie moments. Around the path of totality, there's also an outer, fainter shadow known as the penumbra. From this area, it's possible to see a partial eclipse. Only people in northern Australia will be plunged into total darkness this year as the path of totality is mainly at sea. However, a partial eclipse should be visible from a much larger area, including Australia, New Zealand, parts of South America and Antarctica, weather permitting, of course.